My name is Christy Obst. I am 30 years old and I'm a professional MMA fighter. I grew up in a small country town called Katanning, south of Perth. Um, I originally moved to Perth because I wanted to become an actress. That small country life just wasn't really for me. I knew I was after something more to experience. I stopped acting and I'd started working as a personal trainer, getting fit and healthy. And that just kind of put my life on a completely different track. One of the girls at the gym that I was working with said she'd started doing Muay Thai. And I just thought that was a really exciting and cool thing that I would love to try one day. I did like a couple of random sessions at a few different Muay Thai gyms. I think I knew even before I got in there that I wanted to compete. I was going to work as hard as I could to be able to get up to that level. I had six um, Muay Thai fights, amateur fights, but you don't really know what to expect. Uh, but I remember standing where we were about to walk out and my song started and I just remember thinking like, that trophy is mine and I'm taking that home tonight. It was an amazing experience and I think from then I was just like, yeah, I'm hooked, I'm doing this. The Muay Thai training was pretty hardcore, pretty intense. Train hard, fight easy. So we, we train really hard, we run before sessions, skip for ages and then do a couple of hours of pads, sparring, grappling, like whatever it was for the day. Uh, strength and conditioning after the, ses the sessions as well, so it was a, it was a lot um, all in one. So I, I got adrenal, it was adrenal fatigue and I guess had I kept going along with the lifestyle that I was living, it would have ended up into chronic fatigue. It wasn't just the training, I think it was a lot of different things. I was working ridiculous hours, I had racked up a debt in mortgages, I was in a bad relationship, I was training obviously really intensely. All of that in combination, um, my body just couldn't hack it anymore. I was burning the candles like at both ends and in the middle and then my body was just like nah you gotta stop and then it was like the next day I went to work and I grabbed a coffee and I had a sip of that coffee and my heart rate was just like beating out of my chest like I'd just done sprints or something and I was like hmm, this isn't right like, trying to catch my breath I was just completely completely out of breath and I think that was my wake up call to go okay something's really wrong here and um, and I knew I had to, I had to give up training, or I was just gonna potentially never be able to come back from where I put myself. I probably made it worse for myself because I just wasn't ready to let go, give up on um, this thing that that I love so much and that had become like my life, really, because you spend so much time at training and with those people that you train with become your family. So to let all that go and give that up was, was really heartbreaking. As I stopped, I had like almost a bit of an identity crisis because I realized that I made my, like who I was, was a fighter. Um, I was desperately missing martial arts but I was looking around at um, Jiu Jitsu. I probably never got into it because I was already into Muay Thai and I honestly just thought like I was way too old to even start learning how to do BJJ. But I decided to just give it a shot. So I contacted Ryan Robertson, who's now my partner and coach. He said, come down for the Muay Thai class and the BJJ class. You don't need to know anything, just come and give it a shot. Yeah, it was, it was really exciting for me that I could train and feel okay and learn something new. When I went and tried those classes, Ryan just said to me, like, do you, do you want to fight? Well, yeah, of course I want to fight, but I don't know if I can. And he was just adamant that um, we'd work around it. I was like, I, I don't know anything about jujitsu. Like, how the hell can I step into a cage? And I was like, it's fine. I think it was in nine months, 
I had four MMA fights, I felt much more free inside that cage and much more myself. And I was like, yeah, I've, I've found my sport now. So I've got my next fight coming up on OWS on the 4th of December. So that's where I am for the next year or so, definitely. Like when I started this whole MMA thing, from first not feeling like I could even compete again, to not feeling that I could go professional, to going professional on an international stage and competing with the top prospects around the world um, and not really knowing if that was something I could do to be able to do that. Now I'm really starting to believe and see that I can take this as far as I want to go. Yeah, I know, I know MMA um, and this journey is what I want and this is what I'm going for and I'm not letting anything stop me now.